Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato back for episode 5 of my Heavy Machines Let's Play. And guys, I did quite a bit of trading in between episodes. There's quite a few of these butchers around here, I think like 4 of them. And I traded all of them up, so I'm back up to over 2 million EMC. Uh, so that's pretty good. And I did find a generator that I think will work for us. It's the pitiful fuel generator from Industrial Foregoing. Uh, and basically, it will burn wood. Alright, so it's just some cobble and a machine casing which is just iron and a block of redstone some wood and two iron gears and a furnace and, and a piece of gold so it's pretty cheap overall has emc here's spider I see a creeper over there i, I don't know uh, but basically let's uh, try to get some wood going here and uh i've got this guy's buffer filled up so i tested to be sure that it worked it worked okay let me put up that I was trading a bunch of them, those guys, uh, and I pretty much got these traded out. Uh, you know, I need to do second level, third level trades, unlock them again. Uh, but again, there's villagers all over the world. All right, so uh, basically, like I said, put wood in there. Uh, let's get wood. I did a lot uh, planks before, and it worked okay. But uh, this guy's buffer's filled, so I'm not sure how much it takes, but looking at this, it looks like we're gonna have to make conduits first, because several of these require conduits. The generator requires five conduits. The uh, factory requires five conduits. Uh, the continuous miner does it. So basically we need 10 conduits. Uh, so let's take and put the conduit recipe in here, and we'll need a glowstone and a redstone dust all right so uh, let's just get basically 10 of those uh redstone we'll just get and glowstone dust all right and just basically like i say get 10. okay same here okay and i think you just have it in your inventory. Maybe put a chest beside of it. Let's try our inventory first. Uh, let's go ahead and put some more wood in there in case you know it runs out. I'll, yeah, I'll just put that in there. Okay, and uh, a symbol. Okay, it took it from my inventory, it looks like. Yeah, so there's the conduit, so a symbol. I guess I gotta take it out first. Symbol. Okay, two, do they stack? Yeah. Symbol. Okay, so it's using power each time it does that. All right, four. Five. Yeah, it's weird that it won't stack inside of there, so I don't guess there's any way to automate it. Six. Okay. We don't need to count everyone. I'm not counting with Scotto. Nine and one more. Okay. So that'll be good for now. The blueprint, as you see, is not used up. This guy should be filling its internal buffer. And that buffer should be filled. All right. So let's do the generator next. Ironing, it's 53, 10 redstone, five conduits, two. Uh, slime balls all right so i've got iron but i don't have enough let's get ingot you uh, right there and then slime balls two and i think that's it ironing at redstone conduit yeah it should be good so just had to come out and come back in okay so this one will take a little little while so this is a progress indicator i guess okay so there's the generator i might as well take a look at it and see what it does okay not sure what it takes you know it's another one of those ones no gui Probably fuel. Not sure. We'll check that. Yeah, we're doing on wood here. We're good. All right, let's try to keep moving. 
Uh, so let's see. The factory, which is this guy. Um, I'd rather try to make the continuous miner first. So steel ingots, this one's expensive. Steel ingots, 128. Diamonds, 27. Leather, all right. So first of all, now I did capture steel. Let me see what steel this is from. I'm not sure which mod that's from. Hopefully it'll take it. Um, put up this hole. See more. Uh, okay, so steel ingots. 27 diamonds. This is a very important machine, guys. Uh, so 27 diamonds. You can't really do stone stuff without it. So 27. Okay. And redstone 16, leather 24. Leather. should have the redstone then if 16 slime balls okay. so let's see if it'll take it hopefully it'll take that steel okay it looks like we go out and come back in yeah it'll take that steel okay, now this one is slow so we'll need to check our power it's not really using much power. I guess it does its buffer. You can see the RF in there. So yeah, that guy's going to be slow. wonder what we do with this. I guess I could try a fuel can. I doubt it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so fuel. Okay, but once we pick it up, that fuel's lost. But again, not, not that big of a deal. Okay, so that's how that guy works. Just give it fuel. Okay, cool. Uh, these up. Just keep putting stuff up. Mushroom, which has a weird texture in this pack. Uh, that's more paper I was trading. There's my rubber right there. Okay, so I can make the rubber drops and stuff out of that. Yeah, I knew I had some. Okay. So I'm done with leather. Done with glowstone. The next one is the factory, which is more steel. Eight blaze rods. Let's go ahead and get out the stuff for that. Again, we might as well make one. Uh, again, because it's almost fair, you know, because we get stuff so easy that we might as well at least spend some of the resources. It was 20 of the steel ingots. Okay. And 16 redstone, nether quartz, 16. Okay, so quartz. All right, grab that guy real quick. Uh, then we'll probably, if we have enough EMC, we'll probably trade for the other stuff. Uh, this one's only 25% complete. And that should do five conduits. Okay. Happy with that. Uh, it's like the power's going to hold okay. We'll put up that wood. And put up this mushroom. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're getting ready to finish up here. We're at like 94%, so it should just take a moment. Uh, I may need to sleep in the meantime. I'm getting pretty close to the end of the day. So let's keep on top of that. Uh, but yeah, we should finish this. Basically took 10 minutes or took all day, basically, uh, to do it at least. Really? Glad I saw that guy. Let's get him in the water. Yeah, I, I didn't see him on the map at all. 
I'm glad I turned around at just that moment. Uh, yeah, we should be finishing up here momentarily. Oh, it's getting dark. So, uh, because there's no caves, there's more likely to be more mobs on the surface, I think. Um, you know, they're forced into it. Uh, so our mob caps and stuff at night should be higher. Uh, could be an issue. I do have Torchmaster in here. Uh, and then we do have, you know, the ability with the... Uh, whatever that torch is. Let's see. Let's go ahead and let this finish the... Uh, what's it called? This right here, the interdiction torch. To finish. Sorry, this guy's going to finish up now. Let's see. There we go. Continuous miner. Right. That's a, this is an awesome machine. Uh, let's grab that. Okay. So I'll probably make the factory and stuff off camera. Uh, I suppose I could get it started here. We don't have a lot of fuel, but I, I really want to go and play with the continuous miner. So I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'll trade for other stuff. Uh, I'll probably. I won't show it on camera, but, you know, maybe we'll show the production of it in the ending part, you know, the start and the end of each one. Um, because there's several different machines that we're going to want to get. But let's play with this continuous miner. This guy's really cool. So, guys, I'm going to go back to the uh, village or to my main spot over there, and then I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so I'm back at our farm here. Uh, one interesting thing is, yeah, this uh, this totally affected, this chunk loader totally affected the growth rate of our wheat. And I can see now that it is one uh, chunk. So it's right along that chunk boundary. So, you know, to cover these areas, we would need several of these uh, to go along. So I'll figure out a pattern to place them. And then in future fields, I'll, I'll probably need to consider, you know, the layout of chunks a little bit better than I did in this one. But yeah, that made uh, all the difference in the world. So when we was over in the village, these crops kept growing and those didn't. All right. So the thing to note, uh, it's kind of good actually to see it that distinct. All right. So we're going to deal with the continuous miner now. And this, like I said, is an awesome machine. So, you know, of course, we want to flatten all this stuff and you're going to run into stone uh, when you do it. But look at this big guy. This is a huge machine. Uh, awesome, awesome model. So it's got like a conveyor belt type thing. It doesn't actually do anything, but modeled wise, it's got a conveyor belt that has these big teeth, uh, metal teeth and like some fan things on there i guess pulling stuff into the conveyor belt and putting it up and then doing whatever very very cool all right so of course we need to put fuel in it uh and our fuel cans repaired uh let's see it. all right that worked so it didn't matter where you clicked it uh and let's go ahead and get in this guy and it works as the other machines use shift to raise the teeth and use control to lower but it'll go through and tear up any kind of block uh, that's as high as it'll go so you need to be aware of that that it's got a height limit so i'll, I'll need to like come up on top of this but it'll go sideways back forward uh, let's go ahead and get into perspective, see a little bit better. Okay, so let's lower and dig our way into this area, then bring it up. Okay, and that let us get all the top. So, again, beside explosives, nothing else in this mod will do stone, I don't think. Uh, but I need to be aware of my level so I don't dig down too deep course I'll probably fill it with dirt so I probably do want to go one level down uh, but this is a very very helpful machine uh, 
Yeah, let's see what we're doing here. Okay. And of course, if blocks in your way, it blocks you. But yeah, it's so nice to be able to rip all this out. So I'm going to have tons of fun doing this, guys. And then as everything, it pulls the stuff in your inventory when you go near it. So like this one, see, it's, it's above my level. So I have to kind of get up on the edge of something. Some of this stuff, again, there's explosives in the mod. Let's try to cut down a little bit here so we can get up on top. And I guess you need one block. Yeah, yeah, we'll get up on top and it'll take out trees and everything as well. And then that'll allow us to take off this top layer. That's too high. Let's get the tree. Yeah, it's not quite like the bulldozer, I don't think, where it pulls it completely down. Of course, chop down the mod should bring it completely down. Yeah, that allows us to get this top area here. So we can just get it completely knocked out. But yeah, this machine is so necessary. So this will allow us to clean up all this whole area. I'm gonna flatten this whole plains out here. Um, I do want to test at some point to see if we can mine at, you know, different or not mine, but farm at different levels, like on a hill. But my main ones are going to be flat. But I do want to test to know if you have to be on total flat ground or if a combine can go up and down a planter or stuff like that. I'm assuming it can, but it might be harder. All right. So we're that's as low as this will go so we just need to carve off this top area and then we'll try to get it from the bottom but how fun is this guys this is so much fun yeah uh, we have to watch that water of course okay let's try to go down to the ground a little bit Yeah, we should be able to get it all now. Um, I, I'm one down, I think, yeah. We need to watch that. We probably do want one down so I can fill, you know, get rid of this stone at one dirt level and then replace it with dirt. But yeah, obviously these machines are destructive. And on a server, you know, you could grief like crazy. So you would have to only have people you trust running the machines. But yeah, I should be able to just go out and tear out this whole plains, completely flatten it. And that ought to be a lot of fun. Probably still take a while. You could see it's not super fast. Again, we do have explosives and we'll be getting into those in a coming episode. But they don't just destroy blocks. They create a um, kind of uh, ex explode, exploded rock or some, some kind of rock. You have to mine those out. So it doesn't just destroy blocks. So that's a thing. But yeah, I should be able to get all this. So guys, I'm going to do this for a while uh, because it's just a lot of fun. And I'll film some doing it and then we'll, uh, we'll come back from there.
Okay, guys, so we got a lot of this area knocked out here. Uh, and I dug down one level to get rid of all the stone at the top so that we can run the grader uh, to flatten this out, uh, which will be quite nice. Um, obviously, I have to dig into here, and you can see pretty much this whole plains is, well, it's not really. It's a, just a little bit up. So it's not too bad, but between episodes, I think I'm going to go ahead and take all this out, guys. All the way to the edge of the forest down here. And I don't know how far back. I don't know if I'll take this out or not. Uh, we're getting into extreme hills. I eventually will. Yeah, I'm sure I will. But I want to start to lay out the farm. So I'll probably go to each edge of this forest and stuff and get all this knocked out. So we're going to run the grader. Uh here for a little bit to uh, get this guy flattened out uh, so that we can start to plan our next fields uh, so let me pick this guy up here uh, and he still had a lot of stuff in his inventory um, I'm probably going to want to update the magnet upgrade the magnet to the next level uh, before we do the um, grading let's actually look at that although I don't need it for the grader but the magnet to the next level, I think again, it's a distance, is um, four of those level two. Again, that's why I'm turning off hostile mob sounds because I hear zombie underneath me. I need to light underneath my area here, but just so it doesn't screw our audio up. I have to remember to turn that back on though. But four of those in a prismarine, which we did make, so it should be rather easy to do. Um, magnet level two so let's get four of those and get a prismarine and then four gold yeah let's just get gold there okay and get this guy done and that'll help us to pick up a further distance i think than what we've been able to do um so let's try to get it done and we could probably climb up all the levels now. Okay, so there's tier three. And again, I'm assuming it's distance. So magnet enable, magnet disabled, okay. So I can put up the level two. And then we might as well just look ahead. I don't think I'll do it right now, but it's just diamonds and nether wart. So uh, maybe we will go ahead. Then the ultimate one is emeralds and a nether star. Uh, let's yeah, let's go ahead and do that that next level um, Just to have it. I'm not sure I'll wear it at the moment I'm, I'll probably test between the two because I don't want to get too far But I want to get far enough. Uh, I needed to capture that third level. I don't think I did Let's do that Okay, and like I said, we'll use it for the time being I, I believe I'll, I'll just test with each one let me just get four of those other ones and then do the uh, tier four here. Okay, so there's that. And capture that guy. And I'll just... I'm not sure if I can keep it on my inventory. I'll, I'll put it in here for now. Again, I'll, I'll test between them to figure out which one I want to use, like what the distance actually is. Okay, and then just before we do it again i do want to look at these advanced finders i have the uh, large ore deposits mod in here okay and then i have advanced finders that'll help us find the large ore deposits uh, and of course we're going to want to try to do some mining and stuff for that that'll probably be a couple episodes from now but i kind of want to start looking at for them so that i know what we've got so I don't think I've made any of this stuff. Uh, repeaters, uh, stained glass. I might have, because I was kind of looking ahead. Yeah, I did. Repeater, comparator. Yeah. Okay, I, I think I made all that. And I think I have stained glass. Yeah, overmade it, but I have it. Um, all right, so let's do that. Stained glass, two comparators, two repeaters, iron compass. All right, so compass. And a comparator, two of them, repeaters, two, okay, and then a stained glass, Get those, 
those and then iron I think so we should have it I believe try that uh, I've got you gotta get more iron so ingot and iron okay let's do that and that has EMC so that's the mineral binder okay I guess lapis and redstone this redstone's a mineral this one's metal so again two repeaters two comparators but basically the same but gold so repeaters uh, let me look at the third one because it's probably the same so let's go ahead and get four repeaters comparator four of those okay and uh, gold I believe it was four and diamonds for just look into the next one I think it's the same so for that and then we have stained glass and I think and a, and a compass probably need two compasses okay so this should be the metal finder all right and then this should be the gem finder well I know that's diamonds uh, probably emeralds too then the metal ones obviously metal so let's make sure and capture all these I did this one already, but can't have to do it again. So let's see, I have steel ingots on me. Diamond. Okay, so glass panes don't have EMC. So over making is not that big of a deal because we'll use them obviously. I don't, I don't know if I use the clear ones. Uh, we'll have to see. But all right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead now and. Uh, get ready let's check our field our fields close so in the next episode the first thing we're going to do is use the combine and harvest this guy and that's a pretty cool effect right there yeah that definitely looks like crops when you fly over them you see camera or drones or whatever fly over so i'm going to go ahead and fill this whole area and film it a bit and we'll close out the episode guys i do appreciate you watching it I hope you're enjoying the episode. Stick with me. We're going to have a tons of fun in this. I'm going to do my clothes here and uh, just add some footage of doing the grading. Uh, the grading footage, I guess you would say. Anyways, it's Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.